I'm sitting here with Ryan Villapoto and we're on the eve of the Seattle Supercross. And I want to ask him a couple questions about what it's like to be closing in on his fourth consecutive Monster Energy Supercross Championship and uh, see if that's any different than any of your past ones. Probably quite a bit different than your first one. But what's it feel like to be closing in on uh, number four in a row? Um, I mean, it, it doesn't feel good just yet. Um, you know, there's a, as you know, there's a lot of stress and weight on your shoulders to not make a mistake and to keep the ball rolling in the right direction. So basically, if it happens or when it happens, it's just going to be like a big sigh of relief. And I guess it, on one hand, it sounds pretty bad that you're not just jumping up and down and just like, like so happy. Inside, you're happy, but you're just more or less actually glad it's over because of the stress and the pressure and the weight of teams and sponsors and everybody on top of you. It, it makes it tough to, what are we on our 15th round straight? Uh, every weekend show up and, and go racing and racing for a, at a high level. At what point did you line up and look down the line and go, it's my time to win and I'm gonna win. I think you're arrogant if you ever line up on the line and say this is this is my time and it's yeah, I'm I'm winning and I'm going to keep on winning. Um, well, at some point you got to get out there and you got to take it. But you, you know I always I always line up knowing that there is a very high chance that with a decent start the win is very achievable for me. Yeah. And you know who's going to give you a little bit. Uh, put up more of a fight or this or that, who you kind of got to watch, who you don't, um, and things like that. And, you, and you, you attack them all a little bit differently. For me, it hasn't been like years past where I've done all this winning. Um, I've only won four times this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Consistency has been a huge part in where I'm at now, obviously, sure. the, plus the four race wins. Yeah. Being with kind of where the sport's going, each year someone from the lights class comes up and it gets a little bit thicker. The field gets, gets definitely tougher and then you have a lot of variables that start to come in. We've had a lot of very slippery tracks this year that have kind of made the field be a little bit closer. Um, you know, and, and that can happen this year, that can happen again next year, and or the year after that, we could have very tacky tracks, and then, you know, yeah. you never know. It's part That's, of the sport. Do you find yourself holding back at any times when you feel like, oh, I'm getting a little loose tonight or something? As, you ever... Obviously, as I get older and as, you know, this will, I don't know, it's fifth or sixth year in, in, the, in the 450 class yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I find myself definitely taking more time or really kind of picking and choosing when I'm going to maybe ride that edge more than others. And part of that reason is maybe it's hurt me this year a little bit with potentially getting a, a couple more wins. I wouldn't say a lot more, but uh, one or two more. Being that I'm getting a little bit older and smarter and you know just more mature and knowing that consistency is better than a bunch of race wins and, a, and huge mistakes. With all that, you've said it already, there's a lot of extra stress. Are you still having fun with it? You still like it? It's a hard question. <laughs> um, yes and no, it, be, it becomes a job for yeah. sure. I know everybody's got to work, but uh, it's tough. I mean, for, on, I, I, like, I like winning. You know, so let's just say this: if you were second or third, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. That's probably true. So, my, I, I always thought of it like, hey, if you got to be here, you might as well be the winner, right? <laughs> that's a that's that's a good way to think about it. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good hanging with you. All right. Good luck this weekend. Thanks. Congratulations Jeremy. on your success. Yeah. No, it's been awesome. I'm a huge um, fan, and everyone out there is a huge fan. So, hopefully, I can uh, keep the two looking good out there. You know. That's right. You're doing a good job. All right. <laughs> Jeff, your thoughts on uh, Ryan Villapoto? I mean, he's outstanding. You know, he's he's a very uh, strategic rider, and I think that that he this year he mentioned his uh, maturity level, and I think that he really had gauged his competition, and yeah. in the middle part of the championship said, "Okay, I need to play it cool," and uh, sure enough, the competition made the mistakes, and he didn't. And then here at the end of the championship, he's poured it on, had some outstanding yeah. wins, and he's pretty focused.